Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loca. Welcome to the YouTube channel. There's a cruise news story that's been dominant lately. It's about the civil unrest in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and how cruise ships are deciding to skip San Juan as a port. The events in San Juan are a good reminder that sometimes the cruise ship will not go where they say they are going to go. Because of extenuating circumstances, sometimes cruise ships have to skip ports. In this video, I'm gonna lay out for you 10 reasons why cruise ships sometimes have to skip a port. Again, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you are brand new here and you enjoy cruising, cruising content, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel with the notification bell on, and that way you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So an interesting aspect about going on a cruise is that sometimes you don't actually go to where you think you're gonna go. Most of the times you do, but there are some extenuating circumstances which will cause the cruise line to change your itinerary possibly while you're on the cruise, while you're on the fly. Sometimes it changes beforehand, but there are times, things happening in real time, where your cruise itinerary will change. You'll skip a port, you'll go to a different port, and so here are 10 reasons why that may happen. Number one, and the one that happens most frequently, is bad weather. Cruise ships travel on the seas. Bad weather comes and goes definitely during hurricane season, and the cruise lines are constantly monitoring the weather that their cruise ships are sailing into, and they do everything possible not to sail into bad weather. And so, for example, during hurricane season, if a hurricane forms and it starts to make land uh, at one of the port stops that they're going to, they'll, they'll drop that port stop. They'll either stay at sea, they'll go somewhere else, and even the weather will prevent you from getting back to the embarkation port. We just had it recently where uh, Tropical Storm Barry actually rerouted some carnival ships that were supposed to return to New Orleans. They actually had to return to Mobile. So the weather is one of those things that will cause the cruise line either to skip a port or to change a port. Uh, and I'm glad because really they go out of their way to make sure that they don't sail into bad weather. Number two is closely related to bad weather. It's choppy seas. There are some ports of call that do not have a dock big enough to accommodate a cruise ship. And the way that you visit those ports are on smaller boats called tenders. And the way that that works is the larger cruise ship will drop anchor off of the shore of the port that you're going to, and then they'll load up these small tender boats and they will take you over to the port. That works well unless the water is choppy. If the water is too choppy for the tender boats to successfully go from the cruise ship to the port of call, they may cancel that port and just leave you on the ship. I've heard it happening several times at Grand Cayman where they don't have a dock that can accommodate the cruise ship. The cruise ship gets there, the water's too rough, and the tender service cannot be safely uh, administered, and therefore you miss that stop. You have to stay on the cruise ship. And then another possible related one is the effects of natural disaster. Again, cruise ships will not sail into a hurricane. They'll avoid a hurricane, but sometimes the hurricane will hit a port of call, and it will make that port of call unvisitable. We've seen it several times. We actually were in Havana, Cuba about two weeks after Hurricane Irma hit the island and somehow they got the port back open but when we were touring around the island our excursion had been altered because of the hurricane and there was significant hurricane damage on the island. Uh, we were recently in St. Martin and they had a hurricane a couple years ago and you could still see the effects, still see the damage. And so uh, hurricane devastating to these port of calls, not only uh, for the challenge that it brings to the local life there, but also the challenge that it brings to tourism. Uh, there's really a scramble to try to get their ports ready because such a big part of their economy is tourism. And But that is one of the circumstances where if there is damage to a port location beyond what can host the cruise ship, uh, the cruise ship will skip the port and choose a different uh, itinerary. Another reason that you may skip a port is because of mass sickness on the cruise line. There are regulations that are put in place by the port of calls that you go to that determine whether or not people can come from the cruise ship into port. Health officials 
inquire with the cruise ship about sickness and if a certain percentage of people have been reported as sick on the cruise ship the cruise ship may not be allowed to disembark the cruise ship could even be quarantined we saw this recently with a cruise ship where a measles outbreak had taken place and the protocol that they stopped that would not allow them off the cruise ship there are regulations in place again that set a percentage of people that if they're sick no one from the cruise ship can leave and so you could have a circumstance where you get denied to go to a port, you'll have to skip the port because of sickness on the cruise ship. Number five, and we've seen a few instances of this in 2019, is mechanical failure. Whether it's the engines that fail or whether there is a power outage. Notably, the Carnival Vista earlier this year had trouble with its propulsion system and it was unable to make some of the port stops on its itinerary. Those itineraries were altered and those certain stops were skipped and other stops were put in their place. We had that on our very first cruise. We went on the Carnival Fantasy that had propulsion issues. We were supposed to go to Cozumel, but the ship couldn't make it to Cozumel. They repaired the engines uh, on some level and we got to go to Key West, but our very first cruise experience involved skipping a port. It was an eye-opening experience, but it's not as uncommon as you think. Again, just this year, the Carnival Vista with engine issues, the Viking Sky, of course, stranded at sea for a little while, missing its itinerary. A variety of mechanical issues can cause you to miss your port, cause the cruise line to skip your port. Number six, we'll put it on the list, but we talked about it there in the introduction. Of course, civil unrest can cause for the skipping of a port. Primarily right now in San Juan, Puerto Rico, the people are protesting against the government that is in the streets of old San Juan and that is a primary spot for tourism. And the cruise lines have decided that there's enough unrest there that they're going to skip that port. Now the local tourism board has been working with the government, working with the cruise lines to try to make it a situation where they can port there. But right now we still see cruise ships deciding not to stop at San Juan. So uh, civil unrest can cause your port to be skipped. Another story from this year is uh, governmental policy change can cause your port to be skipped. And most notably travel to Cuba on cruise ships has been eliminated, at least from the United States. And there were a lot of cruise lines that already had itineraries that had a Cuba component in it and they had to replace it with other itineraries. So there were people that were scheduled to go to Cuba that were presented with different itineraries. Uh, government policy change can cause your port to be skipped or done away with. Number eight on the list is medical emergency. Of course, with the amount of people that cruise, there are potential for medical issues. And sometimes those medical issues can affect the itinerary of the cruise ship. There's been multiple stories. We were on a cruise that we left Nassau. We were about five hours away from Nassau. Somebody had a medical emergency and we had to turn around, go back to Nassau. And that actually put us in late to our uh, port stop the next day. It shrank the amount of time that we were at port. And then there are instances where the medical emergency can uh, make a port be skipped completely. I read an unfortunate story about a lady who passed away on a cruise ship that was making its way from Grand Turk. The cruise ship had to return to Grand Turk and instead of going on to its next stop the next day, it stayed in Grand Turk so that it could uh, deal with the medical emergency. So medical emergency is another instance where your cruise port could be skipped. Number nine is another unfortunate circumstance. It's a person overboard scenario. When passengers or crew go overboard, the cruise ships do everything that they can, obviously, to rescue that passenger. That means rerouting the ship back to the area where the person was, an extensive search. Sometimes that will delay the cruise ship and sometimes it will even make it so that the cruise ship will not go to its next port of call while it engages in the search. So people going overboard is another instance where a port stop may be skipped. And number 10 on my list would be relationships between cruise companies and local tourism boards or local governments. We saw the story earlier this year where Carnival Cruise Lines decided it would no longer stop at Antigua. It already had Antigua as part of its itinerary. It does seem that there was some conversation between the local tourism board and the local government about whether or not cruise lines were paying enough money to dock at Antigua. There were some public statements made and shortly after those public statements made, Carnival made the decision to not go to Antigua. Not sure if they're related, but it was an interesting timing where 
the tourism board comes out and says we don't think we're being treated fairly and then carnival actually changes their itinerary from antigua now they've moved away from antigua before and back before so there could be future sailings but for people that had antigua on their itinerary those itineraries were changed and so it was different than possibly what they booked so relationships between local governments and the cruise line could affect whether or not you go to your cruise port. Yeah, so this is one of the things that makes cruising interesting to me, the fact that your itinerary can change on the fly. Again, I had it firsthand on my first cruise. I went down to Mobile, Alabama. I thought, boom, I'm gonna go to Cozumel. And on the very first day of my cruise, they went, no, 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 that's not what's gonna happen. So it happens like that in cruising. You have to be able to go with the flow, but it's good to know that there are these 10 ways and probably more where your cruise can be altered. Has it happened to you? Have you ever missed a port because of one of these circumstances? I'd love to hear the story. Leave it in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation. Got some more cruise videos popping up here and there. Make sure you watch one or two. And again, this is Tony from La Lida Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.